Hello everybody, I am Dr. Pramod J. I am a surgical gastroenterologist, minimal access and bariatric surgeon at Manipal Hospital, Vartur Road, Bangalore. 4th of March is observed as World Obesity Day. The theme for this year's World Obesity Day is Changing Perspectives, Let's Talk About Obesity. Obesity is a complex disease associated with abnormal deposition of superfluous body fat which negatively affects the bodily function and is a result of energy imbalance. Body mass index is uh, the most common indicator used for measurement and categorization of obesity. A BMI of 18.5 to 24.9 is considered normal. About 25 to 29.9 is considered as over overweight and anything in excess of 30 is considered to be obese. There are different categories of obesity. A BMI of 30 to 40 is considered obese. 40 to 50 is considered morbidly obese and anything more than 50 is considered super obese. One thing which we have to note is that there is a significant increase in the incidence of obese patients all over the world. India is not uh, very far behind. It is, consider it is ranked third among the uh, nations with highest rates of obesity. Uh, there is a significant increase in the number of uh, people suffering from obesity. A recent ICMR study has shown that the incidence has increased from 12% to 20% in women and from 14% to 19% in men uh, over the age of 18 years. Obesity is a preventable disease and a curable disease. Obesity is a multifactorial disease with uh, obesogenic environment being the most common cause for uh, obesity. Obesogenic environment is a term used to describe uh, the easy availability of processed food uh, materials which uh, have high fat and high carbohydrate content. Uh, the other factors uh, uh, which contribute to obesity are psychological factors, physiological factors, behavioral and lifestyle factors. Why are we all so concerned about obesity? It is because of the effects it causes on the uh, human being. It increases the risk of uh, developing diabetes, hypertension, ischemic heart disease also known as heart attack or strokes. There is an increased risk of development of gastroesophageal reflux disease, an increased risk for developing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis which in the long run can give rise to cirrhosis. There is an increased propensity to develop GI and non-GI malignancies. It is also associated with an increased risk of uh, osteoarthritis of the knee joint and infertility in uh, both men and women. It increases the propensity for deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Overall, it decreases the quality of life of the individual and has a propensity for causing premature death of the individual. The management of obesity can be started with behavioral modifications and incorporating physical activity into daily routine. The diet should be less in carbohydrates and fats and rich in proteins. 75 minutes to 150 minutes of vigorous physical activity or 150 to 300 minutes of moderate physical activity is recommended by the WHO for uh, inducing weight loss in obese patients and to maintain the weight uh, loss which has been achieved previously. When lifestyle modifications, dieting and physical activity fail to induce the targeted weight loss, uh, some of the medications can be added. Most of these medications act either by reducing the appetite of the individual or inducing early satiety in them. So when medications are either contraindicated or fail to induce the targeted weight loss, then a surgical management plan can be opted for. The surgery for obesity is called bariatric surgery and uh, there are different categories of uh, surgeries available. The most important ones are the restrictive surgeries where the volume of the stomach is reduced to in order to induce early satiety in the individual. The example of these include laparoscopic adjustable gastric banding and laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. The second category of surgery is malabsorptive surgery. However, these are associated with significant nutritional deficiencies have and have gone out of vogue. The third category is where a com combination of restrictive and malabsorptive components are added. The common examples being Roux-en-Y gastric bypass and uh, mini gastric bypass. Here the volume of the stomach is also reduced 
as well as uh, reducing the common chan absorptive channel for absorption of nutrients in the small intestine. Advantages of surgery are that it is done by minimally invasive measures, so the recovery is quick, it is relatively painless and many a times it results in significant weight loss and is successful in preventing the complications associated with obesity. We have a dedicated team of experts for management of these obese individuals at Manipal Hospital, Vartur Road. In case you are suffering from obesity or battling weight issues, we at Manipal Hospital, Vartur Road are happy to help you in your journey towards weight loss. Thank you.